Issue is an online service that allows for realistic and customizable viewing of digitally uploaded materials such as portfolios, books, magazines and newspapers. Firstly I'll be showing you the feature. Let's say you want you've got a magazine that you found on issue. First you do you can just just first of all you click it. So you want to look at Huck. It'll give out this little pitch this little screen. You can click to read and it will go into a big screen and it will show like all the little pages at the bottom. And if you click that it should it pops out like a book. Hello guys, now next I'm going to show you how to upload a book or a file onto issue. First you want to do is click on upload. When you click on upload, first thing you want to do is find the file you want. So I'm just click on browse. I'm going to click on this, an old PDF. Next you want to type in the title of it. So I'm just going to put in software. And next you want to make sure the character is at least 10 characters long. So I'm just going to put in software development. And there it automatically generates a web name for you. So next you want to add in the keyword. So the keyword is very important. If you don't have the keyword, no one will be able to find um, your book online if you want it to be read. If you want to add another keyword, you can just add a comma from right and a comma. Yep, you can add one of those and you can type in development project. Oops, easy. For a bit more of a bigger audience. Next, you can click on info link. You can it's really up to you can where you you can add where you on your site you can tell people to find more information about this document. Next you can click on you can change the type, you can make it into a, an essay, a book, a catalog, or anything on the on the list of documents. You can change it into a, a preview of a version or a normal full publication. Make sure it's child place or no if it contains pornography or violence. You can also change the date of when it's been posted there's also more options where you can you can add a a catalog where it will target one specific audience or one language or one area and there's also, you can also add media to your video to make it a bit more unique you can add you can say whether or not it's going to be public or private so you just want other people if you just want your friends or people you know to look at it you can just click on private if you want everyone to find out about it you can just click on private publish but since this is a test I'm just going to do it on private next there's a sharing options where it allows users to comment you can say yes or no you're in control you got a rating option you can say yes or no and also there's a download option where people can download the publication you've added onto issue so after you filled out all that you can just click on upload file oh it's too much so I'm just gonna go with one if it's too much for you just just put in one keyword one keyword can sometimes be enough so I'm just gonna upload it it shouldn't take too long for it to upload and once it's uploaded right now at this point it's just converting so as and there's a little dot there as you can see it means it's private so only I can share the link to other people or only I can look at it and have some more options while I'm waiting for that oh it's done it's gonna click on the PDFs and there it is I'm just gonna open it up and show it to you and there's the the file I've uploaded the only way for you to upload this file like I said it has to be in PDF if it's not you're gonna cut run into problems also there's some more options let's say you can create a new file and you, this folder is em this fo folder is empty, so you can add your p you can organize your PDFs. I mean your documents onto different folders. You can also add a shelves where you can put your documents or any. Let's say you've got a favorite 
book you can just add it onto there and it will be on your main page I mean your profile page when you click onto it when you click on your profile thank you for listening and you know this is good for students and teachers is first of all teachers I can create groups so let's say if they got like a little test going on or something small research anything you can they can sh as long as they're part of the group students be able to upload their work on onto it and teachers can have a look at it but the downside is that sh whoever is part of the group be able to see what is on the shelf on in the in the group that they've created uh, but there is there are another another good point is let's say if you like a little piece of a, a little piece of work that is important it can just go to I mean a little piece of work that has a lot of views and uh, first you do is click on who, what work it is and then you click on statistics and you can you can create a new statistic Let's understand that and we to see the number of how people can rate it how many people what people think about it number of downloads things like that for the whole of the week who but whoever's in control of the group they can they can also um stop like I mean not stop but destroy not delete um files that are, aren't relevant to the group by just clicking it and deleting it right click and you can delete it it's quite a simple process but only the admin can do that just going to go back to my top shelf